Looking for indie game news? We've got you covered. This is the Weekly Brew. Catropic Games, the publisher behind Pile Up and Toy Shire, have signed on a new game. The Chef Shift, a fast-paced typing game with a cooking flavor, sees you manage a restaurant cooking and serving food to customers all by typing. The game is scheduled for a 2024 release, so definitely add this one to your wish list. Mini Airways, an air traffic control simulator, has announced its release date. This real-time management game sees you take on the role of an air traffic controller, directing aircrafts, clearing them to land or take off, and directing them to their destinations. With maps set across the globe, this looks set to be an awesome casual sim game and it's taking off July 31st. The Wholesome Games Celebration is returning for 2024 this August. Hosted on Steam, the event will see discounts, announcements, demos and much more across the week and you can be sure to get a nice serving of wholesome games. Applications to join are still open until July 25th so devs still have a chance to get in on the wholesome goodness with the event going live August 15th on Steam. A new horror observation game has just been announced and it's coming very soon. Shift 87 sees you enter some eerie locations that are each filled with different anomalies. Your task is to observe your environment and report any anomalies you find. Get it wrong and you'll find yourself repeating the sequence. With 66 different anomalies to find, ranging from small and subtle to completely unmissable, this is a game that will feed on your paranoia. You can begin your shift July 23rd. Team 17 have announced they're partnering up with Spellgarden Games for the studio's next release. The indie studio known for its cute and cozy game, Sticky Business, have teased a new project is in the works to be announced at Gamescom and have given us only one hint as to what the project could be, Expect magical things to happen. What type of game do you think we'll be seeing from this studio? Valley Peaks has announced it's hopping into Steam very soon with a brand new trailer too. In this cozy exploration sim game, you play as a frog climbing to the top of mountains to install radio towers and connect the valley's froggy inhabitants to the wider world. Each mountain is a puzzle you'll need to unravel in this first person platformer game and you can jump into the valley from July 24th. In this roguelike game, you'll dive into procedurally generated underwater caves, collecting gold and resources whilst balancing your oxygen levels and taking on hostile wildlife. Feed the Deep is a deep sea exploration game made by one of the devs behind Fruit Ninja and Jetpack Joyride. They've just dropped a new trailer and with it have announced a release window for the game. Feed the Deep will be making its debut later in 2024. The cozy exploration game where you build your own home on wheels and live off the grid, Outbound, has announced they're launching their Kickstarter. The Kickstarter campaign will reveal some new content, including vehicles, biomes, and features, and will give backers the opportunity to participate in the closed alpha of the game and take home some extra limited edition cosmetic items for the game too. There will be early bird discounts for this campaign, so get in early to get the most bang for your buck with the Kickstarter campaign launching August 13th. The post-apocalyptic colony sim game, New Cycle, has launched its next big update. The new produce and deliver update sees a bunch of new content added, including new buildings and upgrades, new products, and the addition of a new logistic system, including trucks. We also see some new daily goods distribution mechanics added, new maps, effects, and an expansion of the mining mechanics in what is a massive update for the game. The update is live now, so you can dive into this grungy steampunk themed colony sim right now. A new collective supporting indie games has launched called First Break Labs. The collective formed by some video game industry veterans is committed to spotlighting groundbreaking new video games, providing essential funding and marketing support to indie developers. With the launch, they've also announced the first four titles to be signed. Entropy Survivors, a bullet heaven roguelite featuring a formidable mech and a sharp shooting space frog, taking on a unique sci-fi world. Warside, a turn-based tactic game where you pit your forces up against the enemy through a story campaign with 30 different missions in a range of different styles. Baseless, a platformer game where you blast from planet to planet to save your family. And Particle Hearts, an atmospheric adventure game where you explore and manipulate a world entirely made of particles. This is a huge win for indie developers and you can find more on their website. There's a new Aussie game studio in town and this one's first game is full of adorable mischief. Rotup Games is a Sydney-based indie studio that is behind the adorable yet chaotic game Doggy Don't Care. 
Playing as a pup left home alone and up to no good, you'll have your choice of different ways to cause chaos in what is arguably a mess-making simulator. We are so excited to see another Aussie indie studio launch and can't wait to get our paws on Doggy Don't Care. You can play the Doggy Don't Care demo right now on Steam and sign up to their mailing list for all of the studio's news and updates. If you thought the trials were over, you thought wrong. The Outlast Trials are launching a new update and it is packed full of new content. The Project Lapara update adds a new villain, Franco Il Bambino Barbie, who comes fully equipped with a sort of shotgun and a new map for him to make his debut, the docks. In addition to this, there's new trials, a new roguelike game mode, and some new difficulty settings too. The Project Lapara update for the Outlast Trials will be live July 16th. We've got a stack of new indie games dropping this week. Supernatural, a terrifying investigation game, drops July 15th. Flock, a flying shepherd simulator, drops July 16th. Magical Delicacy, a magical cooking sim, is coming July 16th. The Sacred Acorn, a cute souls-like adventure where you play as a squirrel, drops July 17th. Vampire Therapist, a visual novel where you help vampires one trauma at a time, is coming July 17th. Earl vs. the Mutants, a post-apocalyptic top-down shooter, is coming July 18th. Bo, Path of the Teal Lotus, a stunning 2.5D platformer, drops July 18th. Dungeons of Hinterberg, an action RPG where you explore dungeons, is coming July 18th. Skim, a 3D platformer where you play as a lost shadow, drops July 18th. Space Prison, a turn-based survival game where you try to escape the galaxy's toughest prison, drops July 18th. Kiyopioki, a 2D platformer about a resilient bird with a broken wing, is coming July 18th. And Flintlock, a Souls-like action adventure where you go up against the gods, is coming July 18th. This week on the Indie Brew, we have got some amazing indie game content headed your way. We've got a feature coming up of 15 indie games for strategy lovers. Up for review this week, we have Skim, a 3D platformer game and Garage Sale, a wholesome narrative exploration game. And up for first sip this week, we have Hidden in My Paradise, a cozy hidden object game, and Loggerhead, a horror action game made in Australia. That is a wrap on this week's brew. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more indie game content. And until next time, stay caffeinated.